What's up guys, Henry Neal here, your favorite Nigerian tech review guy, and today we have another one. It's called the Infinix Smart Smartphone. So I guess that makes it double smart. Let's get started. I'd like to give a shout out to Infinix for providing this um, review copy and um, thanks guys. Yeah. So this device um, on the box comes with um, something called a Dirac 3D stereo surround system. I suppose it got, it's got it got um, two speaker phones um, or speaker grills on the front side of the phone. Um, it comes with a quad core processor, 3060 milliampere battery, a 4.99 inch HD IPS panel dual SIM, 16 gigabyte of ROM, 1 gigabyte of RAM, oops, okay, 8 megapixel rear facing camera, 2 megapixel front facing camera, and XOS, um, I'm sure it runs on the Android Nougat OS, um, let's unbox this guy, so, so, taking this, like you can see, this is being opened for the first time. So, you open the box, you greet it with um, the smartphone on the top of the box, and let's put this to the side. Underneath this, you've got some um, paperwork. And you've got your charging rig. And you've got your cable. Uh, let's see what kind of cable is this. Okay, it's a micro USB cable, as you can see from here. And then you've got an earpiece. Dude, come on. Yeah, so I guess that's that's all in the box. Um, let's take a look at the phone. We have the device. This is the Infinix Smart Smartphone. <laughs> um, okay, so. Like I said already, this device comes with a 3060 milliampere battery and um, 4.9 inch um, HD display. And it's also got two speakers in front, which are front facing cameras and light ambient light sensors. Let's peel this. Check this out. Wow. It's pretty tough to take off. Sorry guys. Uh. Wow. Now up front we've got um, the front facing camera, uh, which is a two megapixel camera. And you've got um, two speaker grills up top and at the bottom of the phone. And you've got this um, 4.99 inch full, um, HD screen. Um, it's an IPS screen, I believe, yes. Um, to the left of the device, you got nothing. To the, to the right of the screen, we've got the volume rockers and your power button. To the top of the phone, we got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And to the bottom of the phone, we've got your, um, your micro USB charging port and a microphone grill. To the back of the device you have the Infinix branding and then you have the 8 megapixel camera and then um, a flash as well. Infinix launched this about a few days back but they made it a very quiet launch. Yeah. And I guess that's because this is one of their um, low range devices so if you've got a teenager or if you've got someone who's just coming into the smartphone space and wants something they'd like to use, this device is for um, those kind of people. So Take a look at the camera to see how well it does. Um, it's a 
8 megapixel um, rear facing camera and you have a 2 megapixel front facing camera so we'll get something quickly in here and that's a watch as you can see and we're going to start the camera here and let's try to focus on the watch yeah. so as you can see it's, it's kind of finding it a little bit difficult to focus but yes it's focused and the shutter speed is a bit slow I'm going to get in other stuff so we can have some color variations and see how well it focuses okay so let's check out the photos so as you can see here the, the pictures are pretty decent but I believe this will only be uh, decent when you are in well lit um, rooms. If you were in a room where it isn't well lit, it may not produce very good photos. So basically this device is aimed at the young chap who is on a very tight budget and who wants to get a smartphone that can handle all his um, social media needs. Um, it's also targeted at um, teenagers if I'm not mistaken. So if you're a parent and you want to get your teenage daughter or son um, their first smartphone, this is a very good option. You don't want to spend so much money getting them a phone that they will not really use all um, the features. So guys, that was an unboxing and quick look at the Infinix Smart. It's a pretty decent device and it's quite affordable. I'll take a time in the coming weeks to do a full review. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, share this video and tell your friends about it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.